I want a cup of tea. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be filming a Christmas room tour plus my Christmas tree. A few couple of disclaimers, sorry if I'm looking a bit beraggled. I wasn't planning on filming today. I had a whole day planned and it got cancelled so I just thought while I looked all nice I thought why not film and then I have tomorrow to do whatever I want to do. Not that you guys need to know that but just thought I'd let you know. And um, because I'm going to be doing a room tour it's kind of going to be like vlog style so if I'm talking about something and it's not quite in frame just bear in mind that I can't see so just kind of go with the flow like if I'm talking about something you can only see half of it or you can't see it at all just just listen to what I'm saying and just you'll eventually see it at one point probably so without further ado I am going to show you my Christmassy-ish room we're gonna start in the corner that I usually film in so here I just have a little bedside table. This actually used to be my mum's bedside table, but she gave it to me. And in these drawers in the bottom drawer, I'll open it out. We have, it's not coming out, they're all stuck. There we go. We have a whole array of scarves and whatnot. I keep like tote bags in here as well. There's like one here. It's a Disney one. So this is where I keep all my scarves. And I have been going in here a lot recently because it's cold. It's like zero degrees celsius i don't know what that is in fahrenheit i'm i'm sorry i'm scottish not american and then this draw i'm not pulling out because it's underwear and nobody on the internet wants to see that and then this top drawer is quite a delight in here oh we have well we have a bag of dog treats because i have dogs but we have a whole lot of sweets so we have halloween sweets i still haven't eaten um flying saucers I think these are apple o's, um, naked bars back there you can't really see, but yeah, this is kind of like my sweetie drawer. And it's also the sweetie drawer for the dogs. So on top of the counter here, we just have, um, everything's been pushed back, we just have some candles. So at this side, I've kind of got all my candles categorised. So at this side, it's all my summer and spring candles. So I don't know what candles you can see here, but they're m mainly all Yankee and they'll be like pineapple cilantro, Egyptian cotton, pink sands, tumbler candles. We have my little chip mug here who's looking a little bit dirty because I spilt wax on him a few weeks back and I don't think he's ever recovered from it. But yeah, a little chip mug I got from the Disney store. Um, <laughs> this Christmas card I wrote for somebody but when I went to the event, they weren't there, and I'm not going to be seeing them again till after Christmas. So I thought, oh great, you know what, it's penguins, I'll put it up in my room. Because if you're going to get the gist throughout this video, but I have a penguin theme going on. And then in this corner here um, is a DVD shelf, this is where I keep all my DVDs. The majority of them are Disney, and as you can see further down as well, I have more candles. I have a lot of candles. I did do a candle collection video last Christmas. I was going to do one this year but I've got so many kind of winter Christmassy idea videos I just don't think I'll have time. And then in this corner, oh, we have wrapping paper. And look, if you can't see, it's penguin themed. <laughs> I also just on the floor here have a little sheepskin rug which for some reason my dog likes to pull the fur out of it. And these are my curtains, they're just kind of silvery grey curtains, I got them from Dunnell and Mill, they're quite heavy duty. And then up in the wall here, hopefully I'm showing it okay, um, I have my custom made Aerial mini ears, obviously I'm not going to Disney World or Disneyland anytime soon so I've just kind of hung them up to go with the Disney theme and then somewhere along this wall, right beside it here, I've got a little plaque from Primark um, and it says mermaid kisses and starfish wishes. It was just very aerial themed, so they go together quite nicely. Moving on to this corner, we have a little Ikea bin just down there. Wait, I hope I'm showing it okay. I'm far away from it. Here we go. Little Ikea bin. And needed to get a bin with a lid on it because if I don't, my dog will go through my bin. 
And then this is my Pride and Joy. This is my Funko Pop cabinet. So I've got little lights on it. Don't have a lot of Funko Pops right now. Um, but I've got a few Disney ones up here. I've got the whole Sailor Moon collection in the middle here. And then down here I have just got a lonely little Chica from Five Nights at Freddy's. Because Chica's from a game. So she doesn't fit in with anime or Disney. So I, I've just sat her on her own. And then I've got all the empty Funko boxes down there. I'm not going to go into detail because I might do a Funko Pop collection one day. So I'll just leave it at that. And up on top of the cabinet, here we have a, a polar bear votive holder, and I'm burning a votive just now. It is in the scent Fresh Winter Woodland or Woods. It's quite nice, I quite like it. Um, little polar bears, so that's Christmassy themed. And then over here we have my penguin snow globe. And then in the back there, hopefully you can see, I just have some Christmas cards from a few friends. Moving on here, we have got a big ass Cinderella picture because if you hadn't guessed, my room is kind of like, it's very much Disney. There's Disney all throughout my room. It just wouldn't be my room if there wasn't Disney. And down the floor again, we have another little sheepskin. This is the part of my room you don't see because this is where the camera's behind, but we have a kind of like bookshelf type organizing deal going on here. So at the very top shelf I have lots of plushies. I have, where is she? I'm feeling, here we go. Um, I got this plushie in Florida. She's a Hello Kitty. I absolutely love Hello Kitty and if I didn't already have 101 plushies I would buy more. Um, but yeah, she's just in a little alligator suit and she's Florida. This big giant poodle used to be my godmother's but she gave it to me. And if she's watching this, she'll be happy to know that yes, she has a prime spot in my room and I haven't forgotten about her. I wouldn't. I'd treat all my plushies with the uttermost respect. And I think there's more plushies up there but I can't remember. It's been all jimmied about. Uh, I've got my <laughs> Christmas tea here which I have tried. Candy cane one and the star anise one. They're both nice. The star anise one tastes very much like English breakfast. Anyway, that's not what this video is about. And I think maybe in the background there I've got some star box empty cups with <laughs> Disney princess names on them because why not? <laughs> um, on this shelf here, oh ho, we have Simpsons, medium Simpsons. So we have Minnie, we have Marie, sorry I'm feeling them so I know what they are, my big man hands in the way. We have Baymax and we have... I have no idea who this is. Oh I do, um, Dale. So, so they are... I have no idea what that is, let's try and ignore that. Um, over at this next compartment, as you can see, I have even more Simpsons. I have another medium one down here. Yes, down here. <laughs> this is Donald. And then I have just lots of little ones. And then down here, I have all my lip balms. I have a Body Shop lip balm, an EOS lip balm, a Zoella lip balm. Sorry, don't really like it. It tastes and smells a bit like Play-Doh and a Lush Popcorn Sugar Scrub and this is just my little unicorn speaker I use to make my music louder when I'm on the treadmill. Ow! <laughs> There's not a lot of room in my room and I just hurt the back of my ankle. Moving down to this compartment and here is, oh, more sweets. So I've just got a pack of Imperial Mints here, um, an almost empty box of Mikado and then behind there there's lots of more sweets but I'm not going through them all and then in here I've got um I've got some sweets so I've got some vegan chocolate and some Easter chocolate and whatnot. Nothing that's like that's just that's just what I keep even more on my sweets. Yeah I have a lot of sweets. Um it's because I don't eat sweets as fast as people might think and it just builds up and builds up and builds up. <laughs> Over in this compartment, it's kind of like the miscellaneous compartment. So I've got another Simsum, medium Simsum, because she doesn't fit up there. This is like my favourite Simsum. She's a daisy one, and if you hit her, she's not playing ball. Okay, she's not playing ball. Usually when you like hit her, her cheeks light up and she makes like a cute little noise, but she's not doing it. I have a body spray here. Shouldn't be here, but it's here. 
Um, I don't know what this is. I have a few... I have another... This is my chip purse where I keep all my individual teas. And then I have some like little rollerball perfumes and sample bag perfumes here. So this is kind of like the miscellaneous shelf where I keep stuff that doesn't really fit in anywhere else. Um, I'm hoping this is all on frame. I'm really sorry if it's not. This is like my Lush shelf or my bathroom shelf. So as you can see, this is where the body spray should be, but it's not. So I've got my honey and whiskey body lotion and behind that I've got my mint body lotion and I've got a few Lush shower gels here which I need to use and then in this basket here I've got um, bath bombs, soaps, more bath bombs so this is like my kind of Lush and bath bomb shelf and I think there's like a, a Lush body spray back there somewhere as well over here again this is kind of like a miscellaneous shelf this tin has been in my family for ages, it used to be my sweetie tin, it even has my name on the top of it, it says over here, it says Rachel's tin because my brother had a sweetie tin and I had a sweetie tin and these are just like empty Disney boxes I've kept because you know having, I like having a little bit of Disney and then down here is literally just a shelf full of plushies, um, got a little snow leopard there another snow leopard <laughs> um, a little owl that, that makes appropriate noises um, so yeah they're just kind of like overflow because I've got nowhere else to put them and then down here again this is just like oh, a headache this is my camera bag where I keep my camera most of the time and then these are all like folders where I keep all my important boring admin crap that nobody cares about but that's everything this is the back of my door this is my jacket which I wear most frequently um, this is a gym bag don't know what for I think maybe that's one I got in my Haggai 10th birthday this is my recycling bin which has just been emptied nothing exciting here uh, move over to here this is my washing basket nothing exciting we don't care this is a little Chinese cabinet. I actually used to belong to my papa, but I've kind of like taken it. And I just, again, keep bits and bobs in here. Nothing exciting. Open it up. Um, you have my magnifier in here and my glasses. All the things I can't use anymore because I can't see. Um, we have my slippers here. These used to be... <laughs> These used to be my grand slippers at a size 8, and I'm like a size 5. And they do not fit me at all, but I like them. And then... In here, the main body, let me just open it up. Oh, somebody's only went and locked it. Wasn't me, because I don't usually lock it. Um, again, nothing interesting in here. I keep some of my journaling stuff in here, bin liners, extra balls for the bottom of my cane. So just miscellaneous stuff that doesn't have a home anywhere else. Really boring stuff that nobody cares about. And then... Um, down here, this is like my little bag, my little rainbow pack. This is the bag I take out with me all the time. Here are my three advent calendars. So I have a Cadbury's Hero advent calendar. And um, behind that are my little pony advent. Oh no, that's my bomb bath cosmetics advent calendar. And then my, my little pony advent calendar. So I have to thank my boyfriend for all three of them. And then up here is where I keep my onesies in my house coat. This needs washed, so forgive me if it looks horrible. But I have my snow tiger onesie, and my really fuzzy pink onesie, and then my happy blue onesie, which I wore to the Comic Con, my Comic Con vlog. Moving over down this side, this is a new rug I've got, it is amazing, again I got this from Donella Mill and it's a kind of silvery grey colour and then look, oh hello, it's me, and you like my Misney, Misney Mouse, Misney Mouse, Disney, Mini, Mini Mouse Christmas jumper dress, that was hard, <laughs> um, but yeah, this is um, the other side of my bed, so again, we've got Another little drawers, I've got my little Mickey and Winnie the Pooh kind of 
phone jacks. I don't know what to call these. I just put them on there because they don't go in my phone because my phone doesn't have a jack. And in each one of these drawers, I keep underwear in so I won't pull them out. Um, I've got a Sheldon Cooper coaster. I have a talking clock. PM. There's a time for you. I have this little light. I call him Bob's. And it's not that I'm scared of the dark. I can happily sleep in the dark, the pitch black. But I just have, I just like having lights on. So he's like a little LED light. I got him from Ikea and I love him. Got a little bedside light here. I've got um, a box of 12 Yankee votives. That's the one I'm burning just now. came from here. And uh, you can't really see them because the tissue's in front of them. The tissues as well. But I got these from B&M for like £10 and usually when you buy Yankee stuff, it's, if you were to buy that at a garden centre, it would probably cost you like almost £30. So, and I've never heard of any of these uh, scents of Yankee candle before. So if you're looking for like new Yankee candle smells at a reasonable price, definitely check out B&M. And then over here I have another kind of DVD shelf and over here I keep all my autumn and winter candles so I have more autumn and winter votives in here I have, oh look, another little penguin <laughs> I have a penguin every corner of my room and then up here I have little picture frames wait till I find them, here they are I have Cinderella and Belle they were actually cards, really nice like birthday cards and I wanted to collect them all because I think Snow White and Ariel were in the collection as well. But by the time I found out about them, I was too late. So the only ones they had left were Cinderella and Belle. Which is a shame because they're not my favourite Disney princesses. But do you know what? I'm not going to argue. At least I got some of them. And they look quite nice in anything Disney in my room. And then the last thing I'm going to show you is my bed. So these are my Christmas bed sheets I have been talking about. They are blue and covered in penguins. And then over here we've got the two different types of pillows. So we've got the white ones with the silhouettes of the penguins on them. And then we've got the blue ones which match the sheet. And then, I don't know if I can show you it. No, because it's all tucked in. But you might be able to see a tiny bit there. The fitted sheet has penguins on it as well. Um, so yeah, this is my bed. This is Crystal, my glow dolphin, which I sleep with every night. She's got LED lights in her as well, but I don't put her on very often because I'm scared she'll run out. Um, we have Pierre, the pink seal. Um, he kept me company when I was having a lot of surgeries during the summer. And then I think we have my blue cloud pillow over there somewhere as well. And I think we have my big fuzzy cream pillow that I got a couple of Christmases ago. And then this is my over bed table, if you want to call it that. And my tripod, where I first started filming this video. Uh, so this is these are the bits you don't see, you know. Um, I love my over bed table. It just means I can pull it over my bed and I can watch YouTube videos in bed or whatever. A lot of people thought when I asked for it, because... I wanted to eat my dinner in bed. I hate eating food in my bed, like getting crumbs or anything like that in your bed. It's, I just think a bed's like a, a really dirty place and eating food in it is just not something that I am I want to do. So no, I do not like eating food in my bed. That's not why I got it. So I'll give you a quick pan of my room. This is my room and all its Disney penguin glory. And hello, I hope I'm in frame just now and you can see me and I hope the majority of the things I was talking about I was in frame for. I can only apologise if I wasn't. Like I said, I did do a little disclaimer, I can only do my best. If you couldn't see anything, just listen to me. So. Hope you guys are having an awesome December and the next clip I will show you our Christmas tree which is downstairs which yours truly decorated. So I'll talk to you then. Bye! And this is our beautiful Christmas tree. I will just give you an all over kind of look see on it and I will go in closer and I will let you see more of the decorations in detail. So I decorated it myself so we're just going to coming close. This um, decoration here 
I think this is the one we got this maybe last year in Mata and it's got like little acorns it's kind of like a little winter scene and a glow it's quite heavy but it's quite nice and for Matalan, Matalan have good Christmas decorations. Not this year for some reason, but last year they had really nice ones. Uh, let's go over here. This is just a, a plain ball, but these are fairly new. We only got these last year as well. Coming down here, we've got more little, a little sparkly ball there. A kind of like frosted ice ball effect here. We're coming up here. We have... <laughs> this is Stark, um, I got this as part of my mum and dad's Christmas present, so this is from my dogs, so this is one of um, one of them, this is Stark, and it says Stark in it, on it, and I think um, parsnips around here somewhere, if I find it I will show you it, um, but I cannot find it for the life of me. Uh, and then up there, hopefully I have her on frame, we have Ariel, she's kind of like sitting in all the branches so it looks as if she's like chilling in, in all the branches and then my little penguins above her. And we also have Jasmine and Milan. Don't know where they are but I think Jasmine's somewhere down here and then Milan's somewhere over there. But hopefully you can see them because it wouldn't be my Christmas tree if there wasn't a little bit of Disney on it. Not that it's mine alone, it's a family Christmas tree, but there needs to be a bit of Disney on it to represent. And look, oh, at the very top, um, I think we did have a tree topper on, but I think my mum said it was too heavy. But we always put an angel at the top of our tree. Nobody does that anymore. Like every single video I've seen on YouTube, everyone puts stars at the top of their tree anymore. And I feel like we're the only one that puts angels up. And angels, angels are pretty. I like angels. But yeah, that is our Christmas tree. So I hope you guys are feeling really Christmassy now, because I do. I am going to go off, take off my makeup, and go for a bath. Talk to you later, guys. Bye!